Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, in a previous video, I showed you guys a journal that I had made, a scrapbook, and it was kind of a whoopsie because I made the spine too tight and you couldn't really open the journal. So I had to remake the journal. Um, so this is the other journal that I decided to make for my friend and this is how it turned out and frankly I think it turned out really cool um, so in the previous video I told you guys that she really liked Paris and France so I tried to stick with the French theme um, very lacy and pink <laughs> so this is the book itself uh, this is the tie I gave it a nice long tie so there's lots of room to add things to it. Uh, these do come off. They are just uh, paper clips here. I made three of them. And they're on the back of little tiny clothespins. And I just secured this little lace here and she can use it for whatever, but this is where I chose to put the little paper clips. So if we open it up, we see that it lays nice and flat. Um, so this is how it lays if you open it cover to cover upside down uh, so this is the back cover and then this is the front cover and so this particular journal is kind of a mosh a mashup between like your scrapbooks and your mini albums and your junk journals so what I did with this is I bound it like a junk journal so I used signatures but inside I did do a um, this is called something and I forget what it's called but it's where you use a single sheet of paper and um, I don't remember what it's called for the life of me can't remember anyway so um, I did do this on both the front and the back And then this is the first signature. So the first page I did design just a little bit. I didn't design every single signature. I only did a couple. So I got a little envelope here with just a little journaling spot, just some journaling paper that I printed out. Um, uh, I printed this from a collection that I bought from Nick the Booksmith, um, which is this paper right here. And so I just put an envelope down here, right here. Uh, put a little goodies, a few little goodies inside. Just a little postcard and some cut kind of parts. I did map the inside of the envelope here. I also matted the back side of the envelope and it is magnetized. And this envelope here is part of the signature. So as we turn the page, I also put tabs on each one of the um, signatures that I designed. So this is, like I said, just a journaling page here. Got a cute little bag. I actually made this bag a long time ago and um, I thought that it was quite fitting for her journal. So I just folded it up and gave it to her as a little goodie. I have another, uh, well, it's a tuck spot here. But I have another little paper clip that I made right here with the flower and uh, bird ephemera. Uh, these are just copper colored uh, paper clips and the glue that I used for this was E6000. So it's clear on the back, but it holds really well. Uh, it does take longer to dry. So if you're not wanting to wait that long, then you can use something like hot glue or something and just put something on the back to hide the glue. Uh, put a little piece of ephemera here um, this was a pamphlet uh, page and I just matted it and decorated the other side. Uh, both these flips are magnetized here and this is just very, it's just loose. I just added it um, to add just another element. And like I said, all of these pages are not designed. Only a couple of them are. Um, this was the middle of the signature and then we get into the back side of the signature tuck spot here 
and you're, if you're interested on how I make these signatures, let me know and I'll make a video on how I make the signatures. It's fairly simple enough um, and they're a lot of fun to make. And this is the other side of the envelope. Another page. And then this is the end of the signature and I have little lace in between each signature. Um, and these little guys, they do come out. This is a tuck spot where she can put pictures because this is for pictures. This book is for pictures and journaling. So I have a tuck spot here, and then you can also put your picture back behind here. And then another tuck spot here, right here. Another envelope, just lovely moments. Another little piece there. And this is the pamphlet that I was telling you guys about that I had covered in the first signature. I left it blank in this one. And this was just extra paper that I had cut down um, when I cut the signatures. There was this huge long piece left, so I cut it to the right width and then added it to the signature. And then that's the middle the other side, another envelope, scrapbook paper, next signature is decorated, and there's a tuck spot here for another picture. There, This is an envelope, it's empty, another tuck spot for another picture, and this is another envelope, this one's got a goodie inside of it, it's just a little jar. Um, of course, now I'm going to have a hard time getting it out. This is all magnetized. This is another tuck spot for more stuff that she can add to it. It's a photo mat if she chooses to use that for that. Another tuck spot. This does come out. Of course, it's going to get stuck on the little loop right there. I don't want to rip it. There we go. So. And there's, this is only stuck down to this page on the very edges. That way when she puts the picture in, she has enough room on this side and this side. This is only stuck down on the very, very edges. Some journaling paper, another envelope. Uh, this one I thought was really cute. This is, um, this is actually a, um, oh gosh. Those project life cards. It's a it's a larger project life card, and I just decorated the outside. This is a tuck spot for her to add a po um, a photo there. Little notes section here with a date, and then the inside you can journal, and it is magnetized. This is also a tuck spot. This actually came in one of the ephemera packs that I have, but I thought it was really really cute, and so I added that to it. Then this the back side, another tuck spot. This one is not a tuck spot. The middle of the signature, another photo mat. Um, and as I mentioned in my previous video, I am making this for her because she enjoys photos and she enjoys Paris. So there's lots of places to add photos and journals. Another little tuck spot here. This was actually made on top of the envelope here. Then I put another little tuck, or not a tuck spot, another journaling spot there. This is just a very loose insert into the book here. Um, I found this book and when I found it, I immediately thought of Miss Angela because it's in French for one, um, but for two, they're beautiful pictures. So I hope you guys can see that. And I just wanted to add that to it. Um, but I don't know if you can see but it is in French, but it is also translated in English. So uh, that's just a loose insert. Then this is the rest of the signature here. This is decorated, or matted rather. Um, and the paper that I used for this was, not much of it is left, but it is Boa Bunny, and it is the Madeline collection. And I got this at Tuesday morning uh, for 
Uh, and I've definitely gotten my use out of that. It is beautiful paper. This is the rest of the signature. And I love these little note cards. I got these back in Tuesday morning as well a long time ago. I don't remember when exactly. Just another envelope. Um, this is actually, you can see how it is in the signature. And then this is another insert. I thought that was cute. Uh, da -da -da. Journaling, book page, scrapbook paper. Next signature is designed. And I'm gonna have to take these off because they're bulky. The book's not sitting right. There we go. Okay, so this one is also um, designed and this is a flip out. This is a standard letter size envelope. There is some goodies inside of it, I believe. Okay. There's also a tuck spot here, another um, photo mat. And there's a bag here with some journaling here and there are goodies inside the bag as well. Here. I did add a little bit of goodies for her. Another envelope here. Uh, this says Cherish. It is a clear acetate project life card. It's a very large project life card. And it is in a tuck spot. And that is magnetized. Another journaling, another envelope or manila file. Uh, this is just a paper clip with some stuff added to the paper clip. So she can keep it that way or she can take it, whichever. Another little tuck spot here. I thought this was cute, adding the little ruler and then adding the little guys next to it. Another photo mat here, or photo frame rather. This one is also decorated. These are two envelopes. Uh, they are matted on the inside. And these again are just standard letter envelopes. Uh, this is not a tuck spot. Uh, this one is, and they are also magnetized. Uh, this is just matted. It's also matted. The other side of the manila folder. More journaling. The other side of the bag. And this can be cut open to use as a bag, but I did not do that. I figured I'd leave that to her to decide. And, um, but it is a nice texture of the paper. Another paper clip that I had made. Uh, this was just using the lace that I used throughout the book. Uh, basically, I just cut it down the width because the, the lace is pretty wide and just did that. And that's the envelope or the pocket. Yeah, envelope. Another matted page. And the last signature is not designed or decorated. It is just the signature. And an insert there. And with the inserts, um, I well, with the plain inserts, I tried to use something that was um, different but still matched the color scheme of the book itself. It's a journaling page. Another insert. Envelope. Oh, I lied. This is the last signature, and it is not decorated either. I did add a paper clip. Uh, this one was just made with washi tape. I folded it on top of itself and did the same concept with the ribbon, but with the tape. I thought that was cute. The other side of the last signature. And then the back page. And then that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this book. This journal definitely turned out a lot better than my first one. It can open up quite nicely and I'm a little jealous that I have to give it away but um, I'm very much glad that she gets to enjoy it because I think it's very pretty. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. Bye guys!